I have a brand new carburetor. Um, the carburetor that's on there is not very expensive. It's actually pretty cheap. Um, it's a Niki or something like that, not a Walbro, because it is an Intech, not a you know IC or a Vanguard style or something. So the carburetor came with the carburetor itself. It actually has a new solenoid on it. Um, it came with a new gasket, um, some clamps and clips, and a linkage and a piece of fuel line. And this is a uh, crankcase vent tube. So the one that's on there is destroyed. So I can uh, mount those up and uh, see if the engine runs any better. And this is actually just an ignition switch I picked up pretty cheap. Um, so yeah. All right, I have some paint drying on the back there for the uh, um, end. So in the meantime, uh, let me uh, change this carburetor out with my uh, new one, and uh, yeah, get that started. I also have a new breather tube over here. Yep, just needed a new carburetor. That factory one had sat so long and whatnot, it was just complete junk. So, new replacement carburetor, new uh, crankcase ventilation tube. Um, I just removed the solenoid and put the same screw um, that I had found for the other carburetor in there and fired it up. Um, just had to make some adjustments to the low speed mixture needle so it idle and smooth, you know, idle slow and smooth and uh, runs fine. Okay, I have the bearing plates and the bearings in place is kind of loose in there. Um, there is a little bit of play in there so you have some adjustment this way, that way, and the bearings um, can swivel up and down to adjust for that as well. I'm just going to slip my axle through and uh, See how it all fits together.
Now I'm just going to pop the wheels on there and uh, see how that looks. And there you have it. Okay, I'm here working on my uh, racing lawnmower again. Hopefully you can hear me. I have the uh, waste oil burning runner right now. We just got it started the other day. I'm just kind of testing it. But uh, I have a few things to uh, accomplish here in the uh, today, tomorrow maybe, or today, who knows. Um, that needs to get popped open and worked on, and I need to switch this output shaft, or input shaft rather. And uh, I have spindles and some wheels and some tires to uh, put together the front end of the uh, racing lawn tractor. So, what I want to do <clears throat> is go ahead and mount that transmission up in here. But in order to do that, I need to make that output or input shaft um, short. Uh, so, for I don't know where, wherever this transmission transaxle thing came from, out of whatever tractor had a really long output shaft, and uh, usually these transmissions out of a tractor will have a really short input shaft. So I looked around and found the short version of the input shaft. So hopefully, there's nothing else that's different, and I can just pop this open switch this input shaft with that input shaft, put new gear oil in there, seal it back up, be hunky-dory, good to go. And while I'm in there, I guess I'll also check for other damage, chip teeth, I don't know, bearings that are spun or bushings that are wore out. So yeah, that is the current project. Pop that open so I can switch that. Okay, so the uh, inside of the transmission looks like this. Um, it is all stuff full of uh, pretty heavy grease. Um, so I kind of expected to find that when I opened it up. That's kind of why I'm wearing these gloves. So uh, I'm hoping I can remove the grease and fill it up with gear oil instead because it'll allow the transmission to spin freer as opposed to having to turn through the really thick grease. Kind of puts a lot of drag on it. <clears throat> You know, if it's just you being used in the tractor, not really an issue at all, but, you know, for a racing mower, kind of wanted to spin as free as possible, so I'm hoping I can pull it out, clean all the grease out of it, and then just fill it with gear oil. But the reason I opened this up is to remove this output shaft, which it looks like just goes through the top of the case like I kind of expected. So I just go to pop off the uh, clips, or the... Uh, uh, C-clips and uh, hopefully that shaft will just come right out of there and I can clean all this mess up. Alright, I got it all cleaned and back together. Um, I ended up taking the gear set all the way out of this half of the case, uh, cleaned out all the grease um, in the parts washer uh, way back there in the corner, and I got the uh, stubby output input shaft thing um, in there. Uh, there's a couple uh, snap rings that hold them in place. Um, there's two bearings here. I uh, There is actually a seal here, and the shaft kind of seals it on the inside. So it was packed with grease before, so I repacked it with some grease now. It spins nicely. 
Um, what I'm going to end up having to do is run a bead of uh, some RTV gasket maker stuff along the edge of this case because there was a gasket on there and I kind of destroyed the gasket and it, I don't know, wasn't in the greatest shape anyways. But uh, being that it is sealed, um, you know, there's it's not super well sealed here so it might dribble, it might weep a little bit like your uh, oil there, but <clears throat> I don't really have to fill it all the way. It's not like it really. It's not like this. This little seal here has to actually seal. Um, I'm only gonna fill it with gear oil just so the gears kind of all roll in it, and then it'll be good from there. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, just get the RTV out and uh, get that tacked up, squish the case back together, and. Uh, and get the gear oil out. All right, so the uh, camera had died at one point I, or something, and uh, I got the transmissions back together. Uh, I took some doing to get the cases to line up and then slide together. Um, I have this little cap popped off, which um, looks right down on top of the shifter fork, but uh, looks like I can line up the shifter fork to allow me to fill it with gear oil instead. Um, so I don't know, I might try and get a quart of gear oil in there. I think that'll fill it up enough and then uh, we'll see what happens. All right, I had uh, snatched some gear oil that's used for those and uh, put not quite a quart, just probably like three quarters of a quart in there. The level is probably right about here, uh, which is probably well, kind of more than I need, but, uh, you know, if it weeps out, it'll weep out until it won't weep anymore, and uh, I'll just leave it like that. Um, I could also, if I don't, if it doesn't weep at all, I might drain some more out of the drain plug. Either I think here might actually allow it to drain, or I could just pop that cap back out and dribble some out of there. So I really don't need that much. I probably only really need to fill it up to like here. Um, but like three quarters of a quart brings it up to like here somewhere. Right at the split of the case. So we'll see what happens. You know, I'll put it over in the corner in a tray. So if it weeps, I'm, you know, at least not making a mess on the messy concrete floor. But, uh, but yeah.